Welcome to the Third Wind channel where today we're talking about spin-offs and more specifically Nickelodeon spin-offs. Most of you who watch this channel know that Nickelodeon did a spin-off called Sam and Cat which combined iCarly and Victorious. Now today I'm here to propose five different spin-off ideas which I think maybe are better. So first off let's just talk about Sam and Cat really quick. It's not like Sam and Cat is a terrible spin-off because I think that they did a pretty good job and they combined different elements of Nickelodeon together but Cat for me isn't a great character for a spin-off because she just isn't there isn't so much there to work with and Sam is pretty crazy too so putting them together just it made it so that it was like reactions and whatever but it wasn't very deep I don't know I like something more deep something a little bit more character based these guys are just kind of too random but let me get into my picks my very first one is Chase and Michael so in this instance we're not combining any worlds we're just putting together two guys from the Zoe 101 universe that I think just gelled super well. Their chemistry was always top notch. Their friendship was super followable. And I'd love to see what would happen if they w were moved on to college or high school or they kind of moved away and did their own thing and kind of, you know, got, got their own spin off in a new setting. We even got a taste of what that might look like in 2015, where we finally got to figure out what uh, Zoe's message was for Chase. And, and they, their acting is incredible. I can put a link in the description if you guys want to see it. It's really fun. Uh, um, but that's my first pick, Chase and Michael forever. Number two, I want to talk about Megan Parker from Drake and Josh. I think Megan from Drake and Josh was such a smart character and I, honestly a very underrated character. She made me laugh a lot. I loved her antics and pranks. And I think a great basis for a re I mean, not a reboot, but a spin-off for Megan Parker would be to send her to a boarding school where she... Uh, for troubled kids when their parents find all the equipment and like they eventually will right and how crazy and you know all the pranks she does and how evil she is um, I think and then if you want to spice it up you can ha you can send her to this boarding school together with Neville for example for my Carly and there they kind of meet and maybe they're rivals at first and then they're friends and then they're at this boarding school and crazy stuff goes down and it's kind of the lives of these two two evil geniuses at the boarding school so just my two cents i thought that was pretty good uh and then the third one is maybe one with jade i think that jade is um for more so than cat like a very much more emotionally complex character and i always i mean she's always been a fan favorite and i just i think she's a great character that could have been expanded on further now how do you uh, how do you do about this maybe you push her like further out from school maybe she goes to college and she pursues her creative stuff or she just pursues her creative stuff without college and maybe you involve someone like freddie benson who maybe falls in love with her after i Car uh, after carly moves to italy completely infatuated and then jade kind of uses his video skills and they kind of launch something not like i carly but something similar and then maybe they make movies or something like that or you could go a different route and have like jade be together with andre where we kind of saw that c connection with them musically maybe uh andre and tori kind of split and jade and um we have kind of a musical show with jade and andre which could be really interesting too uh, with like a back and forth romance thing. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, next up we have Craig and Eric. So this is probably my most oddball pick. I don't think this maybe Maybe this could make a show. Maybe it wouldn't be interesting enough. But these two were like two of my favorites always on Drake and Josh. And I always thought I want to see a little bit more of them. And I always thought that their on screen chemistry was great. I think seeing them move to I don't know south dakota or some random place and then just like kind of following their lives as as these two um are they brothers no they're friends they're friends uh i just i don't know something about it just seems really fun just kind of seeing them overcome challenges maybe like a drake and josh 2.0 but they both kind of have to break out of their shells and grow as people i don't know i just i, I think these two are really funny and maybe you in involve more of the drake and josh universe into the spin-off i don't know something like that moving on we have uh, Gibby. So I did do a video recently talking about Gibby and the spinoff that was planned for him. And for those of you who haven't heard about it, I won't talk about it too long because you can go watch this video and you'll you'll hear everything there is to the spinoff. But there was recently, uh, or not recently, that there was a leaked pilot uh, where you can see the whole script. It was actually supposedly filmed and Nickelodeon didn't greenlight it. They greenlit uh, Sam and Cat instead. But yeah, I think Gibby is a great muse for 
uh, a spinoff, especially reading that script. Um, so I'm not going to talk too much about it because you can go watch this video and you'll hear everything. So I'll leave a link in the description for that. But yeah, Gibby definitely wanted to see more of him. So sad. But that's been uh, that's it for this video in the Third Wind channel. Let me know what some of your own ideas for spinoffs are. Let me know if you want to see a part two of this sort of video. And um, I'd like to thank everyone here for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys all very soon for a brand new video.